So, cheddar, greenbacks. Um, on me. So, cheddar, greenbacks, dough, cash. All different names for the same thing that most, if not all, people want to have a lot of money. And today, I'm going to inform you how to three about three very different and very informative ways on how to gain money. So, to start off, my name is Michael Reese, and I've been I've been studying this topic for the past very intensely for the past few days because money is important to me, and I hope it's important to you as well. So, to start off, like I said before, I'm going to be informing you about three very different yet very efficient ways on how to gain wealth. And I'm going to be informing you on jobs, real estate, and stocks. So, start off. Um, when I'm talking about jobs, I'm talking about two types of jobs. High paying jobs and jobs with benefits. So, let's start with high paying jobs. Now, high paying jobs, pretty self-explanatory. Jobs that pay well have high salaries. According to money.usnews.com, they rank the top three highest paying jobs of 2015 as anesthesiologist, surgeon, and oral and maxillofacial surgeon. And their annual salaries are 246320 240440 and $219,600 respectively. And also, according to WSJ.com, which is where I got this chart from, the top they rank the top 10 best paying jobs of 2014 as surgeon, physician, psychiatrist, orthodontist, dentist, petroleum engineer, air traffic controller, pharmacist, podiatrist, and attorney. Okay, so pretty self explanatory. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say that these jobs, they're pretty hard to obtain because they require a lot of education. So, you know, you can do it, but it's gonna take a lot of work. So, onto jobs with benefits. Now, when I mean jobs with benefits, I'm talking about jobs that offer um, work benefits such as dental plan, sick, sick leave, paid vacations, etc. Now, the way these can help you gain money is that let's say that you need to, uh, you need a cavity removed. Let's say you need some dental work done. If your company has a dental plan, then they pay for it entirely. You don't pay anything out of pocket. So you're by you're saving money by doing this because you're not paying for anything. Your company is basically covering all the costs of the procedure. And by saving money, you're gaining money because you have more in reserve, more to spend, etc. So, on to real estate. Now, as, a, as someone who has an uncle who's a real estate agent, I've been taught a little bit of how real estate works. And he showed me two ways that you can make a lot of money in real estate. One, one being owning properties, and the second being flipping houses. Now, um, owning properties, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty simple to own properties, but it has a lot of little hidden things that you need to know about. So, owning properties. Basically, owning properties means that when you want to own a property, first you have to pay you the rights to that property. Once you, once you do that, you become the homeowner. And once you become the homeowner, you can rent it out to people. So let's say a family decides to live there. They become your tenants, and then they pay you uh, a monthly, in, um, monthly amount. So like a month, the end of the month, the rent is due. Etc. So you're always getting a monthly amount. Now it's not as simple as that because you do have to worry about property tax and you do have to worry about uh, repairs and other things for the house because let's face it, no one's going to live in a broken home. So on to my second thing, which is um, flipping houses. Now I don't know about you, but I've seen I, I enjoy those shows on TV where they where they show the process of flipping a house and like the amount of money that they get at the end. Now, flipping houses at its core is finding a house that's beat up or finding a house that is not up to safety code. And doing that, you could either remodel it like entirely or revive it to its former glory. Now, according to investformore.com, the, high, the average, in, uh, average profit that someone who flips houses makes can range from $25,000 to $100,000. Now, that's pure profit. That's what you're getting. That, however, that doesn't... Um, that doesn't cover the initial cost of actually buying the actually buying the property rights and um, buying or like um, paying the workers. I mean, paying the workers because you do obviously they do need to work. You do need to work and buying the materials, etc. So, on to my third thing, which is stocks. Now, stocks stocks are are relatively simple to understand. Um, I didn't know what stocks were, but then I researched on it, so I, I found out. Um, Stocks are basically uh, an investment. So let's say you want to invest in a company. Let's use Google, for example. So you want to invest in Google because they're doing, they're doing well right now. So 
When you invest in Google, like a certain amount, you become a shareholder. Now, being a shareholder entitles you to a very tiny percentage of that company. Technically, when you become a shareholder, you own a very tiny, you own pretty much a, everything that company has, but a very tiny percentage of it. And you're probably asking yourself, well, how does that make me money? How does that get me money? Well, basically, when you invest a certain amount, it all depends on how well the company's doing. So if the company is being is successful, then you, you're successful. So um, let's say you invest $1,000 in Google, like in the stock market. If they're doing successful, then you gain back more money than what you put in. But it's very, it's very high risk because it all depends on the company's success. So like I said, if it's doing successful, you gain money back. If it's not, you're losing money. So very, it's a very risky ball game right there. And on to my second thing, which is bonds. Now bonds and stocks go together. They're, however, they differ in one key factor that bonds is basically like, an, at its most basic form, it's an IOU. Now what companies um, normally do is if they need to raise money, they will issue, they'll start issuing bonds to people. Now, um, if you want to purchase this bond, because it's a certain amount, um, if you want to purchase this bond, you, it'll be a certain amount. However, um, if you're probably asking yourself, uh, well, I'm, I'm giving them money, how am I gaining money? This, this is how it is. They'll, they will give you back uh, at a fixed rate, a certain amount of, like a certain percentage of money back. So let's say you invest uh, $10,000 um, into a company that needs to raise money, and they'll give you back 10%, which is high. They'll give you back 10%. So you're getting back more money than what you invested. So all, all stocks and bonds are a good way um, to make money, but they're, it's very long, long term ish. Very long term. So you're not going to see profits right away, but in the future you will. Okay, now to finish off my speech. Um, I informed you about three very different yet very efficient ways on how to gain wealth. I informed you on jobs, real estate, and stocks. And to close my, close my speech, I'm gonna leave you with this. Um, if you wanna be successful, then you gotta work hard. Because success is not cheap. Or success is not cheap. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of dedication. You have to show perseverance, you have to show tenacity, you have to show that you really want to be successful. And just like the greats, like the CEOs of today, they were risk takers back in the life. You gotta be a risk taker to be successful. You can do you can do it, but it, it's gonna take a lot of work. Thank you.